My intellect is without limit. Stacks back. School phase MTG. So we're a couple of hours away from the reset. Uh, yeah, a couple of hours here. Uh, so yeah, this is being recorded pre-reset. Um, but a lot of people have been asking me, Stacks, what are you going to use to rank up with after the reset? Um, what are you going to play after the bannings and all that stuff? And I don't know. I don't know what's going to get banned. Um, I put together this list. This is what I'm going to be running um, after the reset for the first couple of days after uh, rank resets. Um, granted that nothing in the, in the build gets banned. Um, this is a Fires of Inventions build. Um, so, yeah, I know another Fires deck, but hey, Fires is a top tier card. If you want to compete at the highest level, you got to use the, the, the best options available to you. Um, so granted that Fires doesn't get banned tomorrow, um, I will be running this for the next few days um, after the reset. Um, this isn't just any kind of fires build. This is a this is a build that I put together uh, to combat specific things that are going on in the meta right now. Um, this is designed out to play in best of one or best of three and be able to produce results. So um, I wanted to give best of one players something that they could use to combat against agent, combat against some of these strategies that you just automatically typically lose to um, if you run into them in best of one. So um let's get into the deck and then i'll explain along the way so we got three witching well i love witching well and fires decks um it helps me find fires in, in the early game it helps me draw cards in the later part of the game so everything about it's great um uh, four fair wishes because we are running a full wish board in this fires build uh four agonizing remorse to help us find out what our opponent's playing strip key cards out of their hand uh three cry of carnarium i keep saying Cryo Canarium is really, really good right now in the meta. I mean, against Mono Red, against Lurus decks. I mean, it just, it does, it puts in some serious work. Um, especially against a lot of these low to the ground aggro decks that have some, a lot of recursion going on, like with, in Lurus decks. Um, Cryo Canarium just gets them out of there, gets them completely gone. Um, three Unmore Ego. And I'm actually thinking about putting it up to four. Because hear me out on this. The meta is in a place where it's very settled right now. So you typically see like the same three to five decks in ranked right now. Um, the people that are trying to compete at the highest level anyway, they're running, there's a small window of decks they're running. So a lot of times, Unmore Ego is very good to run main board and you don't even have to try to get them to reveal their hand with Agonizing Remorse. You automatically will know what they're playing just from the first two to three turns based off what they play. Um, you'll know if you're playing against Wyona, you'll know if you're playing against Luca, you'll know if, if you're playing against Fire. Um, even based off of their companion will tell you a lot of times what it is they're playing. So Unmore Ego being main deck right now is is pretty good because you can just strip strip out their key card um, early game and then they have to you know revamp their whole game plan of what it is they're going to have to try to do to defeat you. Uh, one Dawn of Dreams to draw some cards, find key, find key cards in our deck. Uh, four Ritual Soot. Ritual Soot is great against some decks and is not so great against others. But I find that it's still great to, to run main board because a lot of decks are running cheap creatures. Um, a lot of those strategies do recur to those cheap creatures, so Ritual Soot isn't as good as it used to be. But a lot of times it's good enough to, to put in enough work to keep you alive so that you can... Um, start advancing your board and get extra value of playing multiple walkers and whatnot um, with fires. Um, of course, four fires of invention. And then we get into the meat and potatoes, the, the main walkers of the main build, which is two Ashiok, three Nickel Bolas, two Liliana, and one Chandra. Um, these, like I said, these are the core walkers of the build. Um, these are the walkers that I don't mind drawing into during the game. Um, I don't want to see multiple Chandra, so I'm running one of her. Um, but I am running an extra one in the sideboard because she does, she is good in the deck. She feels powerful in the deck. Um, she she can clear the board. Um, she puts a clock on your opponent, an increasing clock. Um, but you just don't want to end up with two six drop Chandras in your hand, um, really at any point in the game. Um, and then for the land base, I got four island, four, uh, one, ca excuse me, one castle lock lane, four swamp, three mountain, uh, one temple of deceit, three watery grave, two steam vents, one Temple of Epiphany, three Blood Crypt, one Temple of Malice, and three uh, Fable Passage. And then for our wish board, I built this wish board out to uh, pretty much play against. It's built to combat 
many strategies that are going on right now. Like I said, we got the unmourned egos and the agonizing remorse to combat pretty much anything that's going on in the meta right now, but the, the sideboard is going to provide additional support to that concept. So um, if you're going against other Walker decks, you got the Elder Spell, we got Narset, which pretty much shuts down cycling. Um, one Kaya's, uh, Kaya, uh, Orzhov Usuper, because we are um, going to be exiling a lot of stuff. So um, a lot of times Kaya can just come in and if you get an ultimate off, you'll just end up killing your opponent with that. Um, Kaya's Wrath, in case we need that mid game uh, board clear, if we don't have enough time to get to a uh, ruinous ultimatum. Uh, I'm running one of Johnny and this is a lot, of, a lot of people might think this is weird, but I'm running one of Johnny the great hearted because against mono red and really really low to the ground aggro strategies we end up clearing the board but then by the time we clear the board our life total is usually really low so um i needed a way for early to mid game to end up gaining some life back instead of having to wait all the way to plain wide celebration seven mana which a lot of times we might not get there because if you're going against mono red and they get you down to less than five life now you're kind of like teetering on the eggshells because all they really have to do is just top deck some direct damage and finish you off so uh, Johnny gets us out of that danger zone um, early to mid game when we need to get out when we're low on life uh, Tamiyo she recurs things for us for us from the grave uh, Elspeth conquers death removal uh, one Sarkon as a finisher um, we are going to be having lots of walkers out on the field so um, I didn't want to have to draw into Sarkon main deck I don't I don't he doesn't feel right drawing into him main deck a lot of times so um, having it in the sideboard, is, it feels that's where it needs to be, so he's better off there. Uh, one Shark Typhoon, because why not? Everything in here except the Fair Wishes is, uh, is a non-creature spell, so go ahead and fetch up your Shark Typhoon from the sideboard and put in Major Work. As I said, one extra Chandra, one Garouk, because if Garouk is left unchecked, he will generate a crazy board for you. Um, Ugin, removal, and card draw, well, card advantage and protects you so everything about Ugin is good uh one play one celebration because i typically use this just for the game for life um it's pretty much enough to make the um opponent scoop if they got your life total real low and you end up using plain wide celebration um in the later part of the game and just shooting back up to 15 or more life then they they usually just concede because you'll have so much board pressing by that time that um you gaining all that life back it pretty much push the game out of the reach out of reach for them and then uh one ruinous ultimatum and one eerie ultimatum for the super late game um pretty much if you're using eerie ultimatum it's because they've removed everything they've they've been removing all your stuff all the way up until this point in the game and you have lots of things you can get back from the grave that'll just go ahead and just put the game very far out of reach for your opponent so um this is one of those cards it's like a, a last resort like you go ahead and play that and the game should be over with um, so yeah, that's pretty much the deck. Um, I wanted to give my best of one watchers uh, something to go ahead that can help them compete because a lot of times most decks you play in best of one, if you run into an agent deck, you just die. Um, so this deck can compete in best of one and in best of three. Um, so this is, a, this is a viable option to go ahead and try to rank up with. But enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. I'll uh, keep this. <clears throat> Tap. Zangits. Thought that said Zangi at first. Oh! Cycling. Alright. Well, definitely ready for this matchup. I've been waiting to get some of these. And agents. Funny how when you put stuff in your deck to stop aging, you, you really don't run into agent anymore. Like, um, well, let's go ahead and get his Xena flares out of the deck. We absolutely know he has that. Let's get these out of here. Oh. There will be no Xena flares today, sir. Oh, <laughs> uh, what you got? Uh, we ain't worried about him either. 
Go cycle. Go ahead and cycle. Oh, you want to give it haste? You want to attack for one? Oh, no. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get fires down, and then uh, kill the kill the fox here. Oh, so easy. But yeah, as I was saying, it seems like when you put stuff in your deck to face agent, all of a sudden everybody stops playing agent. I would love to unmoored ego some uh, Wyonas and agents out of out of some deck. What are you looking for? You're not gonna find any players. <laughs> Yeah, I like this hand. Oh. Odin Sun. Going against Thor. This uh this arena that we're playing in looks like somewhere Thor would be uh fighting in. Remember in the Thor movie when he was uh put that on the bottom. Remember when he was in hell and he was like, what was the guy named Cerderus or whatever? The one he had to kill and take his crown to stop Asgard's destruction. This looks like where that guy was at. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, I don't need the land, but I'll keep the cry. I don't know what I don't know what Odin's son is playing. Odin's son got Malnir. All right, some ramp. I'm just gonna pass. See what else he plays. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So this is like some. Uh, Probably some five color elemental stuff. Go ahead and get fire and I'll, I'll go ahead and use cry now before you can build up a whole bunch of stuff. Put that, put the shock on Odin, son. It's not ready for my thunder. Alright. Alright. Yeah, he's on some kind of like five color elemental um uh, wouldn't be surprised if he's running agent or some mutation um well let's go ahead and find out what he's doing ooh yeah mutate ruin this ultimatum I think I'm gonna take the ultimatum um cause I can wish for stuff to get rid of the, the creatures. I don't really have an answer for the ultimatum money to take it out of his hand. Um, Alright, let's draw some cards. Uh, yeah, go ahead and play Ashiok. Nightmare. There is little I like I like Ashiok's uh Shadows awaken. I like it, his voice. The voice acting of Ashiok. The shadows. The shadows await. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that guy's three calls, three calls. Alright. Um well let me go ahead and swing first. Exile some stuff. Don't block it. First strike, it's fine. Kill everything now, and I'll uh, make another token. Creeping, All right. Thieving. Next turn, whatever he does, you know, I can wish for something and take care of it if I have to. He's probably gonna play his, his big five drop mutator now. Don't see why he wouldn't. All right. Um. All right, let's go ahead and wish for something to kill that. Uh, I think Ugin should do it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get Ugin. All right. 
that out of here. Sorry, Odin son. Make another token. Alright. See what uh what all these got in exile here that I can ultimate on Ashiok with. If I get a land I can ruin this blast. I mean uh ruin this ultimatum if he plays stuff here. Not too much not too much exciting stuff in his great in his exile right now. Odin son! You're not you're not bringing the thunder, man. All right, let's go ahead and uh, remorse his last card out of his hand. Yeah, let's let's get Caesar out of here. We don't, we don't want no Caesar. <laughs> Excellent, Captain Morgan. Man, somebody's trying to get that get that endorsement deal. Captain Morgan endorsement. Maybe I should do that. Add some kind of beverage into my name. Go for an endorsement deal. <clears throat> Alright, just playing some Rakdos. Alright. More than likely is that, uh,. I'm gonna steal your stuff with claim the force firstborn and sack it to oven, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get this down with some defense. So I won't be taking two from his his little elementals. Alright, Captain. Oh. I guess I still am gonna be taking two. No, Shandra, they're not great. I don't, I don't, I don't care for them. They're not great. Um, uh, all right. I might have to, I might have to, wait, do I? Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat two here. Get fires down. Uh, let's go ahead and wish. Let me see here. Um, uh, I would like to get Garruk, but I'm not going to be able to play it next turn. He costs six, so I need something that I can be able to play next turn. Uh, I think the best option here is Sarkon. Uh, it's not worth the Kai's Wrath. Just to kill one thing. So Sarkon is the, the better option here because I can make a dragon and then the dragon will, will kill the little the little elementals when they attack. So Got the plan for got the plan for you, Captain. Captain Morgan. Man, when I when I was in college I, I used to drink so much Captain Morgan. Oh. Oh man. Let me sacrifice my faith. All right, Captain, not joking around here. Uh, okay. Well, let's leave that on top. Let's go ahead and play this. Kill the devil. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to try to think. Is that really what I want to do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill the devil. Um, and then let's uh, go ahead and play Sarkon. Get the dragon. So when he makes his elementals, they, they can't attack, they'll just die. <laughs> Unless he claims the firstborn, my, my dragon here. Uh, remove it. You gonna remove it? Oh, I'm willing to bet he's gonna remove it. Yep, that's fine. So I'll go down to 
three? Guys are great. No, I'll go down to two. Let's see if he swings all out at me. If he leaves my walkers alive, then that's a mistake. I understand it, unless he's got a shock in hand, but I don't... That deck doesn't play shock, so I'm not I'm not really worried about shock. He's trying to decide here what he wants to do. And kill both. He wants to go all out at me so bad, but he knows leaving the walkers alive is a mistake. Are oh, you going to go all out at me? Come on, ready. Go down to two. No. Can't decide. Come on, man. Lay off the captain. Make your, make your decision. Put the Captain Morgan down. Alright, kill him bolus. Alright, uh... Well, let's go ahead and activate Sarkon. Use him to kill Chandra. Bye-bye, Chandra. Alright, and... Let's uh go ahead and kill his play play crafter. Uh, let's go ahead and play bolus. A plus on bolus. I would love for him to get rid of a land. Alrighty, let's go ahead and fetch up a land here so I can decrease my chances of getting a land. Alright, Captain. I'm at three. Got a lightning bolt? Oh, man. Don't bring me down to one. Don't worry, I brought company. Alright, going down to one. Alright, this is when you make a stance, when you're at one life. Let's uh I'm gonna create a dragon. Yeah, cuz yeah, I'm gonna create the dragon. Cause I'm I'm gonna kill Chandra um with attacks. But um in case he plays another one. So he has to he has to play another Chandra and he has to play he has to find a way to kill the dragon um, in order to get in for lethal. I am not um, happy right now. He's only got two red, but let me go ahead and play this because he may he may claim claim the first form my dragon. Um, go ahead and play this. Uh, all right, wait. I only got six land. Yeah, that that can stay. All right, because I, I need seven land for my ultimate and stuff from the board. Matter of fact, I got I got plain wide celebration, so I'll get that so I can get myself out of the danger zone if I if I live. All right, Captain, formulating his plan. All right, I ain't worried about that. Claim the first one. Yep. Pretty much figured he had that card. All right, so I'll block and then I'll uh I'll use Faye. Turn it to my hand. He's gonna sack my dragon, so which is fine. All right. Your plan is not going to work out for you here, Captain. Go ahead and discard both of these. Sack my dragon. Of course. Of course, man. Alright, let's go ahead and draw some cards. Alright. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna play this one. I don't want to draw any more lands. Um, I, I want to get myself out of the danger zone here, so uh, I'm 
let me go ahead and make a dragon. And uh, I'm a plus on bolus. Just to take away a resource. Could go in for damage, but I want to take away a resource. Alright, this last card is gone. I like that. Smart as you uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and get myself out of the danger zone here. Should have laid off the captain, captain. Too much captain. Too much captain in your glass. What you got? <laughs> Two lander, spire land. I typically like to try these. They usually work out for me, so. It's not a land. I usually have good luck if I have a two lander with a, and one of them is a scar land. It's not a land either. Alright, let's go ahead and see what this guy's playing. Oh, alright, enchantments. Enchantment theme. Um, I think I just take the bronze hide here, take his turn two play away. He's a ways away from playing the the Archon, so Alright. Alright, that's a land. And that's a land. Alright. I'm good I'm good now. I'm in the I'm in the game. Can play fires and then play. Well, let's see what he's got going here first. Oh, that has to die. All right, let's play fires and then let's let's kill that. Definitely got to get that out of here. All right, I can play dawn next turn if I don't pick up a land and use it to get a land, and then play uh, bolus. Oh, got to land. All right. We squiggled by the the land screw. Uh, just get a swamp. Let's go ahead and play bolus. He's gonna he's gonna exile it with his uh his uh exile up there. His little meditation realm. That's fine. I can find more goodies with Dawn of Dreams. Let your weak minds crumble. Uh, I'll take Ego and uh, Witch and Will. All right, go ahead and exile Bolus. His his better play would be to play the Archon, but they. They always want to get rid of your planeswalker. So, too bad he's going to lose his Archon now. Let's go ahead and take all the Archons out of the deck. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. Let's get these out of here. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> no Archon for you, buddy. Not today. Alright, let's go ahead and play the whale. Wait, no, do I want to play Lily? No, no, no. Play the well. I'd rather save the Liliana for if he plays a creature, then I can have her. Oh, I'll keep both of those. I can have her to uh, make him sacrifice the creature. What you got, man? What you got? What you got? Oh, you going to exile my fires? Alright. Let, uh, let me draw some cards here. Alright, I can uh, remorse, yeah, I can remorse the uh, prison realm out of his hand and uh, play Bolus now. Plus on Bolus. Get rid of your basic land in your hand. <laughs> You have no weakness I cannot exploit. That's right, Bolus. We're exploiting those weaknesses. And he has to know this is gonna die. 
I wouldn't have played the all that glitters on it, but maybe he just wanted the card draw, but he knows it's gonna die. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and kill it. Let's play Lily. Get a Zambi. I like Zambies. Good help is easy to find in war. Really? I, I never knew that. You think nobody wants to go to war? All right. Uh. Well, let's go ahead and let's make another Zambi. Plus on Boldus. Like See toy. what I draw. Oh, Ashiok. Alright, I think I want to get my fires back. Yeah, let me, let me get my fires back. <laughs> Listen to my whispers. Listen and to my whispers. I'm saying give me my fires back. And I'll just hold these lands. I can use these lands for uh, Faye if I draw Faye. Oh, well, sauce you broke. Yeah, I'm gonna try it with a two lander, but it's one of the scry land, so uh, that's not a land. Uh oh, might be in trouble. Sometimes keeping a two lander ends up being a mistake. All right, uh, I squiggled out of that one. I squiggled out Lanzor. Lanzor. I like that symbiote. That symbiote voice acting. Sounds like a gremlin. Uh, let me go ahead and pay for this. I'm gonna unmoor it. Uh, he's playing mutate, so I'm gonna unmoor. Oh, sorry. I'm back. I had I had some important visitor at the door. What am I doing here? Uh, unmoor ego. Uh, all right. Uh, gem razor. Let's see. All right. Yep. Pretty much standard in any mutate deck right now. Gym Razor. Why is this still here? Go away. Why is it why does it look like this now? What's going on? Oh, I don't I don't know. It's all like grey dark looking. Um, okay. Well, let's go ahead and play fires. And uh, remorse. Um. Uh, oh, the spider. Well, I can kill the creatures, but I he's gonna. Uh, I think I just I need to take the status and statue. Cause that can blow up my fire, so I'm just gonna have to eat some damage here. But it's okay, Landor, cause I can I can clear the board. My turn. Alright. I'm gonna eat some big damage here. But uh he's gonna lose his his board. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and uh wish up uh Kaya's wrath here. Get these these beasts out of here. Alright, he's probably going to play his, uh... If I was him, I would have waited. Could have flashed it in. So I couldn't kill it this turn, but... Alright, since he did, I'm going to go ahead and kill it. Why'd you give me the opportunity to kill it, Lanzor? Uh... Elspeth conquers death is what I'm looking for here. There we go. Let's go ahead and, uh... Exile the Hornet Wasp. Hornet Wasp. Oh, I like that thing. I remember seeing it back in the in the movies when I was a kid. That thing was brutal. It was like devouring everything in the whole city. Unfortunately, I have to kill it. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and kill it. Before he mutates something onto it. Your existence is pointless. Uh, go ahead and play Faye. Be ready to bounce it back to my hand and uh, wish for something. I got wishes. Got nothing in my grave. Get back with Elspeth. What is this thing? Uh, Trumpering, Trumpering Garden. Trumpering Gnar. Might want to ego that out of his deck. Thinking, debating. But I got wishes though, so might just, might just want to wish. I think I'm a, I want to make a wish. Oh, well, another bolus. That, that changes things. Let's go ahead and plus on this bolus. Gonna get rid of a land? Landzor? Landzor? Lands or your card in your hand? Which one? Make a decision. Make a decision. Alright, he's got no hand now. Let's go ahead and kill his spider. Killing your spider, man. Let's go ahead and play Lily. Get a zombie. Zombie. Smack you for one. Beats. Big beats. From the fairy. Oh, Lanzor. The lands love you. And plus. Get rid, rid of one of your lands. Alright, let's make a zombie. And, uh... I'll keep that one there. Go ahead and swing in for Trice. Say this one is pretty much under control at this point. Good game. So there you have it. That's what I'm going to be running the first few days after the reset of the rank. So, um, if you got the cards, go ahead and craft it. If you feel like spending the wild cards and crafting it, go ahead and do that. Uh, let me know how you do with it. You should do rather well. Um, like I said, you know, it's pretty much designed to go against everything the meta is doing right now. So, you should be fairly strong against Agent. You should be fairly strong against uh, other Fires decks. So, um, you shouldn't have too many problems if you play it the right way. You know, that's always the secret behind playing any deck is you got to be efficient at piloting the deck. So, um, yeah, get some practice in with it and uh, go ahead and try to rank up. As always, I am doing uh, giveaways with this video the day it drops. So you got to make sure you like and comment on the video to be eligible to win one of the giveaways. Um, or you could dislike the video if you don't like it. Uh, but just make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Um, and that gets you automatic eligibility to win uh, whatever it is that I'm giving away. Um, as always, I always reply to the comments uh, of winners in the comments section. So uh, be on the lookout uh, in, for the comments. Um, as always, I appreciate everybody. Um, and I will see you all next time.